toxicity of tattoo inks is something to really be concerned about. Um, in, in New Zealand, they have the EPA there, like we have the EPA here in the US, and they did a study in 2011 where they looked at tattoo inks from the largest manufacturers in the world. They tested 118 different colors from 18 different brands, and they found a, quite a wide variety of toxic compounds in there, uh, especially heavy metals is what was found very commonly. You get things like arsenic, barium, cadmium, cobalt, mercury, nickel, lead, selenium, antimony, and tin. So this is like, it's quite the list. Now, arsenic and cadmium, these are two of the more commonly found ones, but it, it depends on the color. In different colors, you're more likely to find different heavy metals uh, in that ink. So certainly it, this is not true of all tattoo inks. There's some great manufacturers out there making some from uh, vegetable uh, compounds or, or plant compounds. And there's other non-toxic pigments from minerals and things of that nature. And they might be using an alcohol carrier agent that is minimally toxic anyways. Alcohol is, is, is not a spectacular superfood, um, but it's, you know, compared to other things that are used out there, it's, it's not such a big deal. Um, now, some people may say, who cares? Like, it's it's trapped in the skin. It's not going anywhere else in your body. But that's not necessarily the case. Everybody knows that over time, tattoos start to fade. Where do you think it's fading to? It's not coming out. It's going in. Uh, so it's a real issue. And it especially becomes an issue, as I think, you know, by your question, you've already started to understand when you are getting rid of tattoos. But that's taking like the natural fading process and putting it on accelerated speed because you are not getting it to come out of the skin. You are breaking it up and driving it into the body and saying, okay, body, here is all this stuff. Go deal with it. Uh, I don't care what you do, but get it out. So you're relying on the body's natural detoxification systems, which one, uh, did not evolve to deal with laser tattoo removal. Two, are already so overburdened by the things we encounter in our modern world. Three, if you're really stressed, they're probably not working as well. Uh, four, if you're dealing with other toxicity issues, like let's say you're dealing with uh, mold or you already have a heavy metal problem, your body's already dealing with a lot. So this can be really challenging. Um, so when you are doing tattoo removal, you want to make sure that you are simultaneously working with a doctor who has expertise in chelation therapy. This is where you're using one or more chelating agents, most commonly either DMSA, EDTA, or DMPS. And these can either be oral, rectal, uh, IV, and these are designed to pull out the heavy metals. So you don't want to just push these into your body and then they get recirculated and maybe some end up in certain organs, some end up um, in, in your bones, some end up in your brain. It doesn't, just because you've like pushed it out of your skin into your body, doesn't mean your body's going to perfectly detoxify it all out. So you need to really be on top of this because you don't want to end up with tons of health problems resulting. So you want to be doing chelation therapy with somebody who's an expert in this, who, who has you doing continuous rounds as you're doing the uh, laser tattoo removal where you're doing like about a week or so of preparation of mobilization of the heavy metals and then a day of the actual chelation process uh, with the chelating agent and then about a week of uh, making sure you've cleared it all out, supporting with things like glutathione and, and replenishing good minerals. Because in chelation, you do end up pulling out some good minerals as well, but it's a, those minerals are a worthwhile sacrifice for the really toxic heavy metals that you're trying to pull out of the system. So, and then you would do multiple rounds of that and continue doing urine tests, you know, every three, four or five rounds based on uh, how, you know, how, however long you're doing the, the laser tattoo removal for it. And then you would see, you know, when you get it done, now how are your, how are your metal levels and, and have you actually brought them down to a, you know, a good place? And, you know, maybe because of this, you end up not only detoxifying the metals that come from the tattoo inks, but other metal issues that you have that you maybe weren't even aware of. So maybe in the long run, this ends up totally being for the best. Mm -hmm.